a brand new sneak peek and patch notes are officially upon us for the upcoming update. Already the first thing revealed is the Dream Express. This is essentially going to be Black Pearl Islands 2.0. We're going to be exploring the uncharted regions of the world of dreams on the Milky Way Cookies Dream Express and unravel the unknown dangers and wonders of space. The galaxy map will change randomly with each new voyage, and we're going to be able to experience up to at least seven different things. Everything from battle planets, mini games, NPCs, stations, vortexes, random mystery chest, and we got space artifacts. Now, one important thing about space artifacts that I did pick up on from the patch notes is that each space artifact has its own effect and these effects will not disappear even after a voyage is over. So they will actually be carrying over, it looks like, from voyage to voyage. Now the next big reveal is going to be none other than Stardust Cookie. Stardust Cookie is going to be officially confirmed as a super epic. The Stardust Cookie is an ambush cookie and they'll be utilizing the skill Wrath of the Stars. Stardust Cookie will soar into the sky, marking the enemies with the highest attack, and then descend to deal area damage to the enemies and amplifying the debuffs that they receive. Targets will receive additional damage depending on the number of buffs that they currently have. The sign of the stars will prevent the targets from gaining buffs decreasing their attack and healing, and increase the damage that they receive. If the skill delivers a critical hit, the target will then fall asleep. If the sign of the stars is dispelled, the target and the nearby enemies will receive damage. After casting its skill, Stardust Cookie will then gain a damage resistance buff on himself. If the enemies are already asleep, Stardust Cookie will then summon meteors to attack them. Bro, what?! This guy seems absolutely busted already, just based on the overall skill description. Naturally, he's a super epic, so we should expect him to be better than the standard epic cookies. The next reveal is going to be an epic cookie, the Space Donut. Space Donut is going to be a charged unit and essentially fires a donut beam, dealing damage and reducing the target's defense and amplifying the debuffs that they receive. And then obviously hit targets are going to turn into donuts, excluding bosses and cookies. The targets will receive extra damage if they are already afflicted with a defense reducing debuff. When the targets turn into a donut reaches a certain number, the Space Donut will then use Super Donut Blast rolling over the enemies, dealing damage, and then stunning them. And I would also like to point out one additional thing from the trailer. We do actually see that Space Donut can turn minions into donuts. Obviously, you know, Pumpkin Pie isn't affected, but nevertheless, Pon Pon is. That could be an absolute game changer. Oh, and next up, we officially get the legendary costumes we've been waiting for. The two new legendary costumes, the first one is the Crescent Guardian for Moonlight Cookie, and then the Rippling Moonlight for Sea Fairy. In addition to the legendary costumes, we're actually getting a legendary costume banner. This is essentially going to give you a higher chance of pulling the legendary costumes than what the normal banner would. Speaking of that, you actually will not have the ability to get the legendary costume on the normal banner while the legendary costume gotcha banner is officially in the game. Additionally, it's important to note that if you get a duplicate of one of the legendary costumes, it will not give you rainbow cubes. Instead, you are going to earn legendary costume points. If you accumulate enough of these legendary costume points, your chances of obtaining one of the legendary costumes will gradually increase. And then once you receive one of the legendary costumes, your legendary costume points will then be reset. And I cannot wait to get in here and get these two legendary costumes absolutely my favorite one so far in the game now the next new thing dropping in the update are variant treasures these essentially are going to be three variations to current treasures we already have in the game the very first one is the sleepyheads jelly watch this is going to decrease the cooldown of all cookies by a certain percent and additionally increase their attack by a certain percent the second variant is going to be to the epic torch treasure it's going to deal damage to the enemies within the range equal to a certain percent of the team's total attack and freezing them. When the targets are thawed, it deals damage equal to a certain percentage of the total attack. The targets immune to freezing will receive a fraction of the damage. Targets that receive damage from the treasure suffer from attack speed reduction by a certain percentage and gain a stack of frost that will increase the received healing damage by a certain percent. The healing damage will then be capped out at 350%. And then last but not least, we're getting the Disciples Magic Scroll, which the secrets of the scroll increase all the cookies attack by a certain percentage and their defense by a certain percentage. One important thing to note about the variant treasures is you cannot equip two variants of the same treasure simultaneously. 
So for instance, you cannot equip the Disciples Magic Scroll and the Old Pilgrim Scroll at the exact same time. Man, oh man, we thought the treasures in the game up to this point were already really, really good. Now we're getting a couple of variations that I personally think are going to be a massive game changer. Now diving into the additional stuff we're getting for this update and what I'm personally very excited about, and that's going to be two buffs for two existing cookies. The very first buff we're getting is to Cotton Cookie. Cotton Cookie's attack and defense is going to be increased by 10 and 10.5%. And the HP is also going to be increased by 11%, and the healing that she provides is going to be increased by 5%. Oh, baby, I'm super excited about this one, man. I absolutely love and adore Cotton Cookie, but man, she's already still really strong in the game, and now she's going to be even stronger when the update is officially dropped. The second buff cookie is going to be Parfait Cookie. She's going to be getting a 7% increase to her attack, a 5% increase to her defense, and a 12% increase to her HP. Not only that, her resistance to debuffs before, which is going to be 40%, is now going to be 50%. And next up, we're going to be receiving seven new albums added to the Kingdom Music Hall. We're going to be receiving the City of Wizards, I Promise, My Kingdom, Everything You Need, Purple Fever, Bad and Dark, and then Winter Cookie Wonderland. And last but not least, some miscellaneous stuff coming to the update. First one, we've got a new button that will allow you to instantaneously change all of one specific tile on your layout to another theme. So very nice quality of life here. They're going to be adding a scroll bar now to the toppings list and your defense record. And then last but not least, they're going to be adjusting the HP healing interval of the Living Abyss Summon Creatures Guild Boss. Oh man, I'm really excited for this update, dude. It is going to be a big one here so far. We're getting a brand new epic cookie, super epic cookie, basically the Black Pearl Islands 2.0, which everybody loved that event. Buffs to Cotton and Parfait, dude. Oh Man, I'm absolutely excited for the overall thing. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Let me know in a comment section what your favorite or thing you're most excited for for this update. I'm very curious. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. Always, guys, I'll be doing more in-depth videos on each individual section as soon as the update is officially drop and we can experience it for ourselves. And with that, don't forget we do have a Discord. I invite you guys to join. You will always find that link provided down below. But with that being said, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.